We'll close out the section tonight, inshallah, on the virtues of Jum'ah. Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu narrated the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dhakara yawm al-Jum'ah was speaking about Friday, Jum'ah one time, and he said in the midst of that discourse, فِيهَا سَاعَةٌ لَا يُوَافِقُهَا عَبْدٌ مُسْلِمٌ وَهُوَ قَائِمٌ مُصَلِّي يَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ شَيْئًا إِلَّا أَعْطَاهُ اللَّهُ إِيَّا In this day, in Jum'ah, is an hour that no belief Muslim servant uh, coincides with it, meaning finds himself in it وَهُوَ قَائِمٌ يُصَلِّي while he is standing in prayer, and prayer here could be dua, because salah linguistically means dua. Yes, uh, <clears throat> shay'an, while he is asking Allah to grant him something, illa a'taahu Allahu iya, except that Allah will grant it, except that Allah will grant it to him. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. So is this hour, this moment of time, uh, hidden, or is it while the Muslim is standing to pray, meaning the Jumu'ah prayer, right? Or is it a time when a Muslim is just uh, dedicated and devoted to dua in the last hour before sunset? There's a discussion there, uh, and perhaps it is, it is both of those last two, and Allah Azza wa Jalla knows best. Because there are other narrations here. Let's read some of them. Uh, Abu Burda ibn Abi Musa al-Ashari, Abu Burda, the son of Abu Musa al-Ashari, the famous Sahabi with the beautiful voice. Radiallahu anhu. He said that Abdullah ibn Umar, so Abu Burda, the son of Abu Musa, said that the son of Umar ibn Khattab, Abdullah ibn Umar, radiallahu anhu, said that أسمعت أباك يحدث عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في شأن ساعة الجمعة. Did you hear your father? Ibn Umar is saying, O Abu Urda, did you hear your father, meaning Abu Musa? Did you hear your father ever speak about the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam addressing this issue of that special hour on Friday, Sa'at al Jumu'ah? So I said, yes, I did hear my father say that. I heard him saying that he heard the Messenger of Allah. So he's reporting that Abu Musa al-Ash'ari heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, هِيَ مَا بَيْنَ أَنْ يَجْلِسَ الْإِمَامُ إِلَىٰ أَنْ تُقْضَ الصَّلَاةِ It is the time between the Imam, the Imam sitting down to, put, to start the khutbah until the salah itself, khutbah through the salah itself is over. And so when the Imam makes a dua and you make a dua and you are praying and make dua for yourself, all of this time would be included from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is like Muslim. And there are other ahadith that are very clear that on Friday, after Salatul Asr, this is an hour that Allah Azza wa Jalla does not make any dua. Uh, it is very straightforward that hadith, though some scholars may discuss its transmission. Uh, it's somewhat controversial, but it's reported from so many of the Salaf, the early Muslims, that they recognize this hour, held true to this hour, and some of them to the point would say that no one in their right mind would speak at the Asr time after the Asr time on a Friday until the sun goes down, meaning this is dedicated dua time. And the final hadith in the section, Aus ibn Aus radiallahu anhu said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ مِنْ أَفْضَلِ أَيَّامِكُمْ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ The best of your days, or from the best of your days, is the day of Friday. فَأَكْفِرُوا عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ فِي And so increase in your prayers upon me, or for me, in that day, in Jumu'ah. فَإِنَّ صَلَاتَكُمْ مَعْرُوضَةٌ عَلَيَّ For your prayers are presented to me. And this is an authentic hadith in Sunnah Abi Dawood. That reminds us, number one, of the great virtue of sending salah and salam upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because he is the greatest of the messengers, and this is the greatest of the days, and he is the one that guided us to know the virtue of this day when the other nations were uh, 
straight from it. We started worshiping on Saturday and started worshiping on Sunday. He guided us back to the greatest day and he is the greatest messenger who guided us to the virtue of this day. So the connection should be obvious. Why this day in particular, you said salah and salam upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he said so much so that he that this is a, uh, a prayer that you make that is presented to me. Allah Azza wa Jal carries your salam to me meaning if, even uh, after he has passed sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And this subhanAllah is, uh, is a, uh, a means of building a personal relationship with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam without asking of him the way you ask of Allah, you know, without uh, compromising, you know, your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the only one that is a sami'a, the all-hearing, but as an extended, right? relationship or an extended opportunity to have a relationship of sorts with the Prophet ﷺ, your salam is reported to him and presented to him by Allah as a gift to this ummah, that the angels carry your salam from you, your name, to him وسلم, even in his grave until you meet him on the Day of Judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us and you around him. Allah ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barakatuhu wa alihi wa sallam 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 w